when we are willing to put ourselves at risk to be there for someone, right? Don't worry if this goes south, I will be there for you, um, which may mean working late. It may mean working extra hours. It may mean putting our reputations on the line. I mean, there's a lot of things that that takes. Um, uh, but when we genuinely promise to be there for someone um, um, uh, and, and it, it has to be genuine, uh, because if it gets tested, it's it's very easy to find out if it was genuine or not. Um, but if it's genuine, then then it's repaid remarkably. Let, let me give you a silly example. Um, let's say that, um, so I talk about this um, sometimes, which is the giving of time and energy is more powerful than the giving of money. You can't build trust with money. So paying somebody bonuses and giving somebody a big salary, though feels nice, is not earning or building any trust whatsoever. You cannot pay for trust. Um, and here's the example. Um, let's say you're moving house. Um, and one of your friends says, you know what? I want to help you. We've been friends for years. Um, I'm going to pay for the moving van. Here's $5,000 and the moving van. Let me know how it goes. Have a great move. That's really generous, right? Another friend says, you know what? I want to help you move. And they come over the week before and they're sitting in your house packing boxes. They're sweat dripping down their brow. They're there with you all day. They're there to help load the truck. They're there to help unload the truck. They're, they're there um, uh, to unwrap everything, right? They paid zero money. They give you time and energy, which are non-redeemable commodities. Money, we make money, we spend money, we make money back. It's a redeemable commodity. Time and energy are non-redeemable commodities. And so when someone gives us something that they cannot get back, it has a much more powerful effect on how we feel. So now both those people call you another time and say, I need your help. Which one are you more apt to help? The one who gave you money or the one who gave you time and energy? And this, this is a good lesson for leadership as well. Giving our time and energy is often more powerful than simply just throwing money at someone.